Electrolock installation. After installing brace posts, drill two 5 8 inch holes at 21 and 48 inches above the ground. Install the Electrolock eye bolts. Insert the non-conductive corner rod through the eye bolts and pin at the top with a galvanized cotter pin. Tie the wire to the corner using at least three wraps. If you use standard insulators instead of eye bolts and corner rods, tie the insulator onto the corner using high tensile wire and tie Electrolock through the other side of the insulator. Be sure the Electrolock wire is not touching the eye bolts or brace posts. Electrolock accessories make it easy to turn a corner without cutting and retying. Once the wire is attached, pull forward to allow the wire to spin off the dispenser. You can now dispense a full 660 foot roll of Electrolock to your next pull post or corner. Install the stretcher bar 8 to 10 feet from the end of the pull. You may use a standard come-along, wench, tractor, or ATV attached to the stretcher bar to remove slack from the wire. Begin to tighten wire until Electrolock stands at a 45 degree angle. Leaving tension on the wire, cut Electrolock two feet past the pull post or termination end to ensure you have enough wire to tie off. Once the wire is tied off, release the tension from the stretcher bar. Proceed to the center of the pull and install wheel strainers using our specially designed handle. This will ensure an equal amount of tension from both ends of the pull. If more tension is required, you may cut out a stay wire on both sides of the tensioners to allow more wire to spool onto the tensioner. Make sure not to pull the tension crimp out of the wire. This crimp allows you to space your post farther apart and allows the wire to have memory to spring back. Attach the wire to the fiberglass posts using cotter pins, or if steel or wood posts are used, insulators are required. Now you're ready to install a quality manufactured energizer. Thank you for choosing Electrolock. Fencing done right.